back with some more of Why in the Morning, as we promised. Today is Queen's Wednesday, and you know uh, it's about that time for strength of a woman. In my hands, I have chia seeds. That means we're living healthy today, we're going organic. Uh, this lady is very powerful. After studying nutrition in school, she went into skin nurturing, and she goes by the name Wanjiku Karibu Sana. Santi Sana. All right, so Wanjiku, uh, I'm so excited about this conversation. <coughs> Because uh, ladies are trying to find the shortcuts mm -hmm. to beauty. Mm -hmm. You have another solution. You'll be telling us about that. But before that, you can introduce yourself on camera for if I missed anything. Hi, my name is Yvonne Wanjeko. Mm -hmm. I'm the founder and CEO of Zora Zara Organics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's a natural skin and hair as a brand. Mm -hmm. All we do, we deal with is natural. Right. Only natural, natural. Team natural. Yeah, I team can natural. tell from the hair, from your skin, yes. uh, you're really glowing without yeah, makeup, you. without anything, and yeah. you look really beautiful. Thank you. Uh, which is the way we should go. Last week, you had a conversation about uh, people lightening their skins mm -hmm. and people not feeling comfortable mm -hmm. uh, in their skins as African. Uh, and we are going to be talking about that as well. But mm -hmm. I'd like to know where the name came from, the name well. of the company. Uh, previously, I was called Siobhan Organics. Mm -hmm. That was uh, Shiko and Yvonne. Mm -hmm. But I figured that name didn't represent my Africanness, mm -hmm. my my roots. Your roots. Yeah. Your so nappy hair. Yes. Uh -huh. So it uh, it sounded more Asian, mm -hmm. more Italian. Mm -hmm. So I figured, let me just, I'll get another name with time. So mm -hmm. it took me like a whole year to get to Zora Zara. Mm -hmm. And then I, I figured, you know, Zora means a dawn. Mm -hmm. It's a new dawn, mm -hmm. you know. And Zara is a name, is an Arabic, Spanish, uh, African name, mm -hmm. meaning uh, princess, beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I figured, you know, Zora Zara, uh, you know, it's a new dawn mm -hmm. uh, of new and beauty. I like the, 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 the play in the sound as well. Yeah. The alliteration, Zora Zara. Yeah, Zora uh, Zara, you know. Organic. It, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like the name. I like the creativity behind it. Thank but, you. Uh, what I like the most about this is the reason that you're pushing uh, for organic products yeah. the most. Mm -hmm. First, you went into campus to study nutrition, yeah? Yeah. Uh, is this what you always wanted to do? Um, I always, you know, I've always uh, struggled with my weight. Mm -hmm. So that is something that so I've So the inspiration came from somewhere personal? Personal, uh -huh, yeah. Right. Nutrition, I mm -hmm. want to know how to... Um, and also my skin was dry, flaky, mm -hmm. and I wanted, I didn't have time, I figured I didn't have the passion for makeup, mm -hmm. so I figured what can I do mm -hmm. to still get what I need to get, mm -hmm. healthy, mm -hmm. and still look, you know, glow, uh -huh. yeah, because I figured um, makeup takes a lot of time, which I'm really slow, mm -hmm. I can imagine mm -hmm. me doing yes. makeup. But uh, most of them, I knew, to, it took a lot of hours to prepare for today. Yes, uh -huh. I think, like today, if I say, I woke up at uh, 3.30 and mm -hmm. you know there's no makeup. Mm -hmm. So if there was makeup, I think I would have to ma wake up <laughs> at 2. <laughs> that means you sleep for two hours. You don't become protect productive yeah, I'm in I'm slow. Uh -huh. So I figure, let me just try some. Let me just invest on something like my hair. Mm -hmm. Because also natural hair is very hard to maintain. Uh -huh. Very hard. Mm -hmm. Especially so the African one I hear. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I figure that's the time I can invest. If I did my hair plus my face, mm -hmm. I, I would take the whole day. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's how I started. And with time, you know, uh -huh. I was working out, I was doing all this. I had friends, I had one friend who, um, she used to be bigger, mm -hmm. but she's also into natural mm -hmm. stuff and everything. Mm -hmm. And I got even more interested to know there's somebody else who mm -hmm. wants, has the same passion as me. Mm -hmm. So she's older than me, so I followed up with mm -hmm. her, I learned, I mm -hmm. researched. As and you can see, I have hair as well. Yeah. It takes me a lot of time. Uh. I'll get some tips from you. Yeah, uh, thank you. I'd like to know, <coughs> after you studying uh, uh, nutrition, mm -hmm. uh, then you got inspired by your personal story mm -hmm. to get into, uh, to turn this uh, nutrition that you learned to nurturing skin yeah. and nurturing hair. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, maybe you can take us through the first, uh, your fu the first thing you do in the morning. What is this? I pray. You pray. After you pray, uh, you <laughs> nurture. <laughs> so you nurture your spirit. Uh, you you nurture yourself spiritually My spirit first. first, and then and then what? I I drink 
warm water. You drink warm That's water. That's the first thing I do, like two cups. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if I have maybe, it depends, I, ha I might have neem mm -hmm. powder mm -hmm. or aloe vera powder, leaf powder, mm -hmm. or wheatgrass. Mm -hmm. I mix it up in warm water and mm -hmm. the baobab powder. Mm -hmm. And maybe either, maybe the two of them, moringa, mm -hmm. I drink. Mm -hmm. Then I stay for like another uh, one hour. Then mm -hmm. I take maybe fruits. Right. Then after that, later, I'll take my breakfast. You'll take your breakfast? Yeah. Oh, so these things are not to be taken with bread or, <laughs> or nguashe? No, 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 no. They're, they're things that you take. They're, they're not as tasty because right. something like neem and aloe vera are bitter. Uh -huh. And moringa is has a bad taste. Uh -huh. Baobab is is. is Kind of sour. Yeah, sour, mm -hmm. but I like the taste. Mm -hmm. And wheatgrass is tasteless. Uh -huh. So you can't. Can this help when you want to uh, get into that ritual that you participate in? Uh, yeah, uh -huh. I put honey in some of the drinks. Uh -huh. um, uh, but I would prefer drinking them without honey, but I know mm -hmm. people who use honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if I have, you know, I use, I love my honey. Mm -hmm. I always have my, a lot of cages for just for me. All right. So I use my honey, but mostly I like drinking them alone. All right. Yeah. So that is before, you, uh, that is after you wake up when you prepare yeah. for the day. Yeah. Right before you go to sleep. Uh, right what before I go to sleep, mm -hmm. after I shower, of course, um, I'll drink either neem, mm -hmm. Mostly I like drinking neem mm -hmm. powder. Mm -hmm. I feel like it, you know, you know, when I sleep, it does something in my body mm -hmm. um, or I drink. You feel the juices flowing yeah. in Yeah, right. and also in the course of the day, mm -hmm. I might have taken uh, maybe vegetable juice, mm -hmm. maybe uh, red cabbage juice, mm -hmm. carrot juice, right. pumpkin. You grind Those, this yourself? Yeah, you no, no, no. Yourself. Those ones I don't grind myself. Mm -hmm. I, I buy them from people uh -huh. who grind them. All right. Yeah. So that is your ritual. Uh, yeah. Neem is a common word I've heard mm. uh, in the morning and right before you go to yeah. sleep. What does this neem help? Uh, it's help more uh -huh. You know, I know you've uh -huh. heard of it. Yes, Some I've of us of have been forced to drink it um, uh -huh. when we were younger, maybe when you're sick uh -huh. or um, it's very bitter. Uh, and I've I only love interacted the with the soap. I've never like, oh, taken it orally. Yeah. Um, it has antifungal, anti-inflammatory uh -huh. properties. It uh -huh. has antibacterial properties. Uh -huh. This is something that can heal things like UTI. Uh -huh. um, uh, fungal infections mm -hmm. it helps with that and also it helps with beauty strengthening mm -hmm. your immune system it has a lot of vitamin vitamins and uh, antioxidants you know mm -hmm. so this is something that has a lot it's a superfood mm -hmm. something that has been classified as a superfood mm -hmm. is something that has m a lot mm -hmm. of it's concentrated with a lot of Benefits. Right. So, as a nutritionist, you you, you can tell us that foods are classified. They're yeah, super they are, foods. They are super they are foods, foods. Yeah, and uh, we just have food. Yeah, everything is important. Right. Where that grows Where up does from the ground. For <laughs> <laughs> it has its benefits. All right. Um. Uh. Yeah. The the I don't know. Matumbo is mm -hmm. it, It's food, but it's, it's not a super food. It's not a super. Most super so foods is categorized uh, as a super food. As a super Neem, food. moringa, chia uh -huh. seeds, honey. And chia These seeds, are honey. Super foods. All right. I can see you have some chia seeds here. Yeah. You mixed it in water. Yeah. And I like how when I shake it, they get suspended before yeah. they can settle down yes. to the ground. This means they are very uh, low in density. Yeah. Yeah. It's they're actually not like low in density. Uh -huh. Actually, the point is to fill your stomach up. Uh -huh. For example, in that whole bottle, uh -huh. I just use like a tablespoon. And uh -huh. you can see it looks like it's a lot because yes. it swells. Uh -huh. So the oh, point, it swells yeah, also. it right. swells also. And it has omega-3. Uh -huh. Where do you get your omega-3 from? Uh, fish? Fish, yes. Yeah, um, from and the lake side too. yeah but uh -huh. if, you d if you're, you are, most of us, 99% of us eat fish that has been fried. Uh -huh. So, of course, it has lost most of its benefits. Right. So the Unless best way to eat your fish is Maybe your mena uh -huh. or maybe the one without deep frying. Uh -huh. And also, it depends which kind of fish. Uh -huh. Fish like um, salmon, which mm -hmm. has the highest amount mm -hmm. of omega-3. And fish is also um, very expensive. Very expensive, uh -huh. exactly. So, so this so is an alternative it for is getting an alternative. omega-3. Yeah, and it's very versatile. You mm -hmm. can use it in any diet. Uh -huh. You can use it, you can bake with it. Uh -huh. and I think you've seen it on bread. Uh -huh. yes. Some yeah, wholemeal breads. Uh -huh. You can cook with it. You can put it in water you can uh -huh. put it in your juice is it, it it's different from sesame seeds yes very different all right yeah so uh, uh this 
you say when I have a whole bottle like this mm -hmm. and a teaspoon of the seeds, mm -hmm. this can take me through the day if I'm um, that person who likes to eat light during the day. No, uh, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. For me, like for example, for me, mm -hmm. so that I, d I, I avoid, you know, going into a fast food restaurant and mm -hmm. eating my, grabbing my chips, uh -huh. my fries. Uh -huh. I prefer that. You prefer this? Because, yeah, it makes uh -huh. me, it keeps me full for longer. All right. Yeah. Talking about uh, fast food and uh, the cost of living. Mm -hmm. uh, so many people uh, work maybe in the CBD or somewhere far away from home mm -hmm. and um, they eat breakfast at home, mm -hmm. but they don't want to eat lunch at work because yeah. they'll be forced to eat fast food or yeah. they'll be forced to spend a lot of money. Yeah. What are some of the alternatives you can give them? Curry food. Curry That's food. one of the alternatives. Curry food. But yes. uh, say you're a, you're, 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 you're a man and uh, <laughs> you know you know how men are. Men curry? Well, okay. uh, yes. It's very hard for a man yeah, to curry food yeah. and even the, the look that you get when you get your packed yeah. lunch at the office. Yeah. So what are some of the alternatives you can give them? The, the two snacks or the two seeds? Um, they can do nuts, mm -hmm. they can carry fruits. Fruits mm -hmm. are easier to carry, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, and uh, you can actually access them. The nuts like peanuts, almonds, mm -hmm. those ones are accessible. Mm -hmm. Water like this with uh, chia seeds. Mm -hmm. And they can do smoothies. Maybe they can carry it when mm -hmm. it's or yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what else? The smoothies because you don't need to put, put it in a big, mm -hmm. you know, bowl. Mm -hmm. But mostly nuts and fruits, especially nuts. banana. Nuts. Fruits. Nuts. Nuts are very filling. Uh -huh. Yeah, and fruits like bananas, mm -hmm. this is something that you can easily mm -hmm. access, uh -huh. even in town, and it's cheaper. Uh -huh. Yeah, and uh, and water. Water. Yeah, let's just let's water. Let's take it back to basics. Yeah, yeah go mm -hmm. back to basics. You can live, the only thing, you, you can live without food, but mm -hmm. you can't live without water. You can live without food, but you can't yeah, live without water. Yeah. But I've at some point, it's going to catch up with you. You know, <laughs> I, I'm a lover of food so much. Uh, so let's talk about this honey now. This is very natural, honey. Yeah. Uh, this is just but one of your products. Yeah. Uh, it's packed to be sold like this, but I can still see the wax. I can still see some bees. What is the essence of this first? Uh, first of all, uh -huh. uh, honey has a lot of bees. It's a must-have in every household. Mm -hmm. Apart from colds, apart from making your skin glow, your mm -hmm. hair, mm -hmm. it has like it, it's. It has. It even has antifungal properties, antibacterial. Mm -hmm. You know when um, bees make this honey, mm -hmm. they make it. You know, I think you've heard of propolis. Mm -hmm. They produce. You are the nutritionist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think. Oh, mm -hmm. it, they produce their own. You know, way f to protect their baby, the key. You know, the small uh -huh, uh -huh. from any outside um, uh, any infection or wherever mm -hmm. so it's in the honey mm -hmm. so honey is a superfood mm -hmm. yeah honey and is also uh, categorized as a superfood yes it is with the neem and uh neem chia seeds quinoa there's uh -huh. a lot of superfoods uh -huh. but the common ones moringa i think you've heard of that chia uh -huh. seeds honey all right kuna watu wanasema labda you can translate some of them there because when you say neem is marubaini yeah they instantly understood they so maybe start. some of them have uh, their names in swahili uh, you can mention them uh, mm. uh, honey is a sunny i'll help with that <laughs> um uh, uh chia seeds is just chia seeds uh -huh. Um, moringa is moringa. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. people know it. It's right. called moringa. When you or go oh, yeah, moringa, moringa for, for moringa, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh -huh. the, his name is Morubaine. Mm -hmm. With grass, I don't. I think uh, mostly. I, I don't know the Swahili mm -hmm. name. It's right. not that common. We shouldn't really delve into yeah. that. All right. So honey for your skin. For my it's skin. healthy sugar to be taken orally yes, with yes. your drinks, with your tea, yes, uh, yeah. with your bread as well. Yeah. Uh, what else? Can we get from honey? Apart from its healing properties mm -hmm. uh, for your body when you drink it, mm -hmm. and the sugar is healthy. Mm -hmm. So if you you don't want to eat sugar, but mm -hmm. you still want to sweeten, you would I would rather use honey mm -hmm. than a natural or artificial um, mm -hmm. sweetener. Mm -hmm. And also for the face, it's mm -hmm. a moisturizer. Mm -hmm. It's a preservative. Mm -hmm. I use it in my butters when mm -hmm. I make some of my butters, my oils. Mm -hmm. I use it as a preservative because mm -hmm. it helps to preserve instead of me buying a, a chemical preservative. Uh, to preserve. Yeah, right. honey itself doesn't get, go bad. Unless uh -huh. you put other things, uh -huh. honey itself can go for years without going bad. All right, mm. so what you're telling me, I can dip uh, something in honey and it will be like that for a while? No, honey acts like a preservative. Mm -hmm. If, for example, I put it in uh, 
um, there are people who preserve with it. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, the way they say things like lemon, mm -hmm. salt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, honey is also a preservative. Mm -hmm. Unless okay. it's not pure honey. All right. Yeah. Unless image is Yeah. All right. So people complain that uh, it's very hard to get original It's honey very hard. It's nowadays. Like, yeah. There are a lot of fraudsters out yeah. there. Uh, so how do you know your honey is genuine? I've learned. You've learned with time. With tasting. With taste. You know right, when but I. But for a layman yeah. out there, yeah. how can they know I'm getting genuine honey? What can you tell? What What advice can you give them? Never look at the color. Yeah. Cause the color will not tell you. Because mm -hmm. it depends where it comes from. Mm -hmm. um, never look at the consistency. Because mm -hmm. it also depends where it comes from. Mm -hmm. It can be light, but that's real honey. Mm -hmm. It depends where it comes from, what mm -hmm. the bees ate. Never look so at the wax and the bees no, as well. <laughs> no, 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 not even the wax. Mm -hmm. Just taste it. That's the, like, the best way the best I can way. say. What about your supplier? Um, of course, my supplier, not I had... really uh, your supplier. Mm -hmm. uh, Check in your supplies also. Yeah, uh, check on, thing, yeah. yeah, check on it. And also just taste. Mm -hmm. If you can get a smaller, you know, if you want to buy, get mm -hmm. the smaller package, taste mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll feel it. You'll mm -hmm. know something that is real. Mm -hmm. And if it's not, and if you don't know, there are people who know around you. Because mm -hmm. I know some people you don't know. You can always confirm Yeah, you consult. know. Yeah, you can uh -huh. always consult. Uh -huh. And when you get that person that sells good honey, mm -hmm. don't leave them. Don't leave it's that. rare. <laughs> All right, because it's rare. Yeah. All right, I'm really interested so. in this powder right here. Yes. This is a powder, and uh, this is something I can go out somewhere and scoop from the ground. Yes. And I've been stepping on it all my life. Yes. I never knew the, pr the, the benefits that come with it. Tell me more about this clay. That's a clay. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, um, it's um, I think you've heard of it, bentonite clay, fuller's up clay, Mm -hmm. uh, French clay. These clays mm -hmm. mostly come from areas with volcanic activity. Mm -hmm. And uh, these places have mm -hmm. a lot of minerals. Mm -hmm. You know, the minerals, the magnesium, the good metals. Mm -hmm. And also it has, it balances pH. Mm -hmm. It brightens your skin, not mm -hmm. bleach. There's mm -hmm. a difference. When people brightens. talk of brightening, All right. Oh, so there's like skin brightening and skin lightening. You know, brightening mm -hmm. like in the sense that you will glow, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Your skin will be even. Mm -hmm. You won't be like here you you're dark. You don't need to seek for other sources of glow. Yeah, you won't mm -hmm. be dark here and you're uh, brown. You uh -huh. see, I think you've seen people, you mm -hmm. know, even me I've had that situation. Maybe you get a sunburn. You're dark here, mm -hmm. you're brown here. So, mm -hmm. yeah, uh -huh. it helps with it toning. It helps with that. Yeah. So how do you use it? Um, you mix it with water. I love mixing it with honey. Like oh, I told you, honey uh -huh. is my everything. Uh -huh. So I mix it with honey uh -huh. or rose water. All right. Yeah, rose water. Rose water. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, we have just touched on just but a few uh, products mm. that you have uh, for the people out there. But there are so many products that you have as well. So many. All right. Uh, maybe you can share with us your social media handles so they can get to know how to get uh, organic with Wajiku. Yes. Uh, my social media handles are uh, Zorazara Organics mm -hmm. Kenya. Mm -hmm. That is my Facebook. That is my uh, Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, being somebody who studied uh, nutrition in school, and now you're into this, uh, d was it easier for you, was it easy for you to transition? Because um, uh, is it the same? Nurturing the skin. It's and not. Yeah. Uh, nurturing the body from inside. It's not actually, there's no transition there. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. I always, you know, um, advocate for healing from the inside out. Uh -huh. Inside out. And I also mean even spiritually. Uh -huh. Healing from, uh -huh. when you're not happy on the inside, uh -huh. eventually your face will show, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Makes sense. That's exactly. a good analogy. Yeah, if, yeah. So if it's from the inside out. Uh -huh. So your stomach, your gut is, uh -huh. you know, your skin is just an indicator. Uh -huh. Your hair so is what you were saying, there was no transition There's there. no transition there. A nutritionist there. It's the same uh, thing. Uh, for the skin, uh, yeah. can work for the skin, can work for you, uh, yeah. for your tummy, can work for your body. If it's working for your tummy, uh -huh. it's not killing you, it's uh -huh. not hurting you, it uh -huh. can work for your skin, for uh -huh. your hair, like honey. As a matter of we fact, drink it's it. the best for your skin. Exactly. Wonderful. If it's fruits or mm -hmm. wherever, you can do a mask with mm -hmm. them at home lemon you uh -huh. can eat it and you can still use it on your face uh -huh. it will help to remove to reduce black spots mm -hmm. you know 
as much as you're in this business, making some money off it, uh, packaging and branding and selling, mm. there's something that you're preaching. There's something that, there's a goal that you have. There's, yeah. a, there's an aim that you have and you're so passionate about it. What yeah. is this? Share it with the people as we come to the end. Um, my, I'm really passionate about people changing their perspectives about mm -hmm. um, nature, mm -hmm. you know? Mother Nature is why it's called Mother Nature. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful, you know, mm -hmm. and you're beautiful the way you are. You're mm -hmm. handsome the way you are. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is change your perspective mm -hmm. and, you know, your spiritual. The inside. The inside, mm -hmm. you know, from your spirit, mm -hmm. your body, your mind, and mm -hmm. your soul work mm -hmm. simultaneously. Right. You can, they don't work separately. Right. So if you got them together, mm -hmm. if you're eating healthier, mm -hmm. you're thinking right and positively, mm -hmm. you're putting your God first, mm -hmm. and you're doing your skincare routine and hair care routine, mm -hmm. eventually it will show. Mm -hmm. Eventually your skin, it will show out there. You mm -hmm. will glow. Whether you're hungry, even if you're hungry, people won't know you're hungry, mm -hmm. you know? Because you won't look like it. You've mm -hmm. been able to balance. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much, Wenjiko, for coming Thank through. You. Your social media handles one last time so they can get um, a hold of your products. Um, it's Zora Zara Organics. Uh, Zora, Zora Zara Organics. Uh -huh. If you go, you'll get it. All right. Thank yeah. you very much, Wenjiko. I appreciate you. Thank you for the insight. We are going to talk about the hair. Yes. <laughs> All right. This, uh, today is a special day on Queen's Wednesday because strength of a woman, we have two strength of a woman. So this is the first uh, CEO and founder of Z Z Zora, Zora Zara. Zora Zara, Zara Organics. Yeah. It's a tongue twister. We'll be back with the next one, so don't go nowhere. Yeah.